Hey guys, how are we today? So we have got a mashup workout for you this morning. Going to get some music going for us, a bit of extra motivation. Right, let's get warmed up. Let's stand in the way there. Let's step it out to the side for tiny little shoulder roll, tiny tiny. Mobilising the shoulders slightly. Excellent. Let's do some butt kicks and pull back with the, the squeezing those shoulder blades together. Five, two, one. Let's go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Squeeze it up. And it's five. Two, one, good work. Keep the hands up, take opposite hand to straight leg. And really lengthen out that leg, stretch out through the hamstring. Shoulders stay back, just touch the top of the leg rather than further down if you're pulling forward with those shoulders. Four, great work. Let's do our scoop. Three, Flat backs, toes up. Straight leg, that one that we're stretching. Good job, two more please. Last one. Excellent, let's take it to a quick side bend. Hinge layer. That core switch on always. Five, three. Good work. Let's keep the feet wide. I'm just going to rotate, come up to the center, rotate. Now, you might just come to here, just work with whatever flexibility you have. That's it. Keep that tummy pulled tight. As always, six. You can, I don't advise to keep the legs straight though, so have a little bend in the knee as you hinge it over. Obviously the other leg will be straight, the opposite leg. Three more please. Three. Awesome. Let's bring the feet in slightly, open the chest. Middle arm circles. I know I always say it, but we want to stay strong in the back. None of this. Up, pull those shoulder blades together. A little bigger. And as big as you can. Four. Two. One. Excellent. Crisscross the hand. Relax those shoulders. Great work, bring it up and over. Two. Great work, just cross the, el cross the hands, elbows up. Four. Two. One, roll out those wrists. Come up on the toes. Five. Tippy toes, working those calves. Three. Excellent, let's take the feet slightly wider. Push back into that squat. Four more, please. Awesome, last one. Okay, so today we've got mash-up workout. So we've got four exercises. We're gonna do them three sets each, and then we're gonna do a cardio mash-up at the end to finish the mammoth three sets. So we're gonna begin, you'll need one dumbbell. We actually, I'm not sure if I'll go that heavy. Might go a bit lighter to start. You might want to do the same, and then you can you can always um, go heavier next round or switch in between. So what we're gonna do? What wood chop? Okay. What 
see how I lift my foot. Now I feel like I can go a little bit heavier. You do the same if you're able to. Squat. Squat. We want to really engage the tummy here. Okay. Push back. Stretch. My head is following that dumbbell. Okay. Don't leave the feet grounded, especially the foot the side that you're turning to. We got this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you were drawing me. One minute rounds. Ooh. Okay, so I would definitely go lighter with this next exercise. So Full body movement. We're going to do a windmill. So the dumbbell is above my head here, never back here to keep that shoulder safe. What I'm going to do, take my feet wide and I'm going to reach as low towards that ankle as I can and come back up. Okay, so we're going to stay on the same side for the one minute. Now, go without weight. If you've got any shoulder issues, I would not use any weight. And just go as low as you're able to. Okay? You might only come to here. Squeeze that tummy, bring it back up. So hand comes down, follows the leg, back up, try and keep that dumbbell in the same spot. I mean it's going to move with the body but we don't want it to move as you go, only moving as the body moves. If you've got excellent shoulder mobility, you might be able to go heavier. No, we not until you have done the movement a fair bit. Well done. Okay, we're going to come down for a different move that I haven't done before. It's called an archer press. Now, go fairly light if you're not used to doing chest press. So what we're going to do is, this is a normal chest press where both of our arms come down together with the archer press. One arm comes down and one goes out to the side. See how I'm moving that other arm out to the side slightly? Keeping the arms straight. So one out to the side, one down but we're not going too far out to the side. It's only a little movement, okay? I haven't started the time yet. I want to show you the movement first. Okay. Eight seconds. So one, make sure those elbows are pushing towards the hip, out to the side. Out to the side, out to the side, not too far. That's so just a slight variation with that straight or oh, um, that straighter. Really adds that tension to the chest. Make sure you keep your shoulders away from the ears. Try and tuck them under the body.
Keep it controlled. Well done. Okay, so that was our archer press. Now we have to um, go to the other side for our windmill. Okay, that side I think I was. Righty up, the feet nice and wide. Dumbbell up. Tip, tip, tip. Squeeze it back down. So I'm going, following, tracing my leg down, squeezing back up. Squeeze that core. Oh, this side's definitely harder. Just come down as low as you can. As low as I can go with this side. You might just come to here. That's fine. Just do what you can. Goodness me, that's tough. Okay, back to the start, guys. Back to our squat with a wood chop. Let's go. We go up and bring it back to the chest. Lift that heel. Squeeze that tummy. All down the side, we're working to stabilize that body while we push that weight up. Well done. Okay, windmill. It was years ago, but I still see your face. Nice and wide. If you've got any shoulder issues, I would take the weight away completely and just practice the movement. Feel that in the stomach. That's tricky. Okay, back to our archer press. Okay, so one dumbbell down, one out to the side. Not forwards or back, out to the side, okay? You got which arm I was on? <laughs> I think I did the same one twice. All good. Out to the side. Working from that shoulder and the pec muscle.
take it out to the side, keep that side uh, arm going to the side straight. Try not to fully lock out the joint. Oh, gosh. Now we're going to windmill. Opposite side. My dodgy side. Oh my gosh, that's crazy how much harder that side is than the other one. Keep that breath going, guys. Oh. Okay. That's unbelievable how much difference there is from one side to another. It shows that we're definitely not the same. Okay, back to the wood top on both sides. Last round, guys. Let's go. Squat. Don't let those feet on the ground or that foot on the ground. Last strength round, then we're just going to finish off with a little bit of cardio. Isn't cardio? <laughs> Come on. Oh, lost the balance there. Okay, back to the windmill. You might just come here, squeeze, and back up. Make sure you keep that dumbbell stabilized. Testing shoulder mobility here. Oh, working the tongue, working the whole body, really. Ten seconds. <sighs> Bring it down. Up to Chris, last time. Out to the side slightly. Back to the center. So it's a little bit like patting your stomach or patting your head, rubbing your stomach. You gotta kind of get that coordination. Keeping that tension on the pecs the whole time. Not too far, you've got to control that movement out to the side. You don't want to take it too far.
Excellent. Let's bring it up. Final windmill. Nice wide feet. Dumbbells slightly in front. Squeeze the core. Take it as low as you can. Everyone is different. <sighs> Thank goodness. Okay, little rest. And we have got one and a half minutes of cardio. I'm just going to quickly explain what we're going to do. We have got five burpees, 15 jacks, and 20 back foot up gaiters. Five, 15, 20, and we're gonna keep that going for a minute and a half. If you really can't do burpees, you could do 30 jacks, 20 skaters, squat, plank, in, jump. Three. Okay, 15 jacks. So, soft knees. In. Two. Excellent. 20. Back leg elevated. Four. Goodness me, hot, five, let's go. Great full body movement, the old burpee. Three. Three seconds left. Let's go. Okay, 40 seconds. Let's get those skaters up. Then take hands side to side or part together. And left. Come on. That's it. Five. Three. Ten seconds. Come on. One more. And down. Let's grab a stretch, guys. Grab my mat. Brilliant. So that was mash up workout. A couple of different movements here we don't normally do. Definitely feel where I was 
working the sides here with those windmills. Okay, let's go to Happy Baby. Zoe, can you get up please? You're in the way. Zoe, move please. Up, up, up. Go and get up. Squeeze it side to side, guys. Animals and children, eh? <laughs> Stay there, puppy. Stay. Might take you out soon if you're lucky. Two. Okay, let's release that one. Let's go to our glute stretch. Squeeze it in. Three. Even go a little bit deeper actually for five seconds. Five. Brilliant. Other side. Squeeze it in. Five. Come on, really feel that stretch around the side of the hip. Three. Excellent. Take it for a hammy stretch if you've got that resistance band. I'd grab that just to help go deeper into that stretch. Straight legs, toes down. Hold it here a little bit longer. Five seconds. Squeeze it back. Two. Excellent. Switching legs. Ooh. Get your legs as straight as you can, please. Five seconds. Three, two, awesome. Let's come up for a quick one stretch. Take the leg wide. Hot day. April is still warm. And if you can keep your back straight, edge it forward. If not, just take the hands behind. We don't want to round. Always think good alignment, guys. Five seconds. Three. Excellent. Let's pop over our quick child's pose, knees wide. Pull through those arms. Excellent, let's pop it up. Flank first. Pull back, down dog. Walking the dog. Three. Excellent, coming forwards now. Bring it in or walk it up. Let's stretch that chest. Lift the chin, take those shoulders back and down. Awesome, let's round through the upper back. Pull those shoulder blades away from each other. Do not do this if it doesn't work for you. Straightening up now, dropping the shoulders, roll it out. Excellent. Do a quick side stretch, grab that hand, pull it over. Five seconds. You can use little pulses to go a bit deeper. Two. Good work, bring it up and over to the other side. Five. Good 
works. Squeeze it up. Drop the arm. Roll the shoulders. Quad stretch. Squeeze that heel back. Push the knee away from the midline. Five seconds. Excellent. Switch inside. Five seconds. Good job. Release that one, guys. Let's take it to our rotation. Squeeze it around. Four. And let's take it to our nice big inhale. Last one, thanks. And you are done. I hope you had have a brilliant day. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Let me know what you thought. And I'll see you again soon.